Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with another Top 10. This time it's Top MCU Movies Before Phase 4. We got Phase 4 uh, started already with some shows, and we're about to start having movies. So I thought it'd be a good time to give my Top 10 MCU Movies so far. Uh, so number 10, Ant-Man. Ant-Man is just fun. It's just, it's just a fun... I love Paul Rudd. It's, it's just a good fun heist movie. Uh, truly enjoy it. Number nine, continuing on Ant-Man and the Wasp. Everything that Ant-Man was, better. Now it's it's still the fun, the humor and all that, but with a lot of action. Really enjoyable action. So really like that movie. Number eight, Captain America, the first Avenger. Prior to this movie, I didn't like the character of Captain America. I had no interest in the character of Captain America. This changed my mind. I love the period piece. I love the relationship with Peggy Carter and then how he went from in the past to the impre in the present. And it really made me uh, truly enjoy this character as a hero. Number seven, Endgame. You probably thought that this one would be higher on the list. Um, Endgame was long, it had some drawn out points, um, but it definitely was a satisfying con uh, conclusion to the whole um, Infinity Arc. Definitely was was something I enjoyed, but it doesn't have the same amount of rewatchability for me. It's, it's more that in battle there's some like really hype moments. But the overall movie is, is very slow, very slow beginning. I have a hard time with that. Number six, Thor Ragnarok. Once again, a character I don't care about. And um, the Avenger movies had kind of made him interesting, but the humor of this one and another character I don't really like, the Hulk, was in this. And I thought this was a wonderful, the best the Hulk has ever been, was in Thor Ragnarok. I really, really enjoyed that. Number five, Iron Man. This one kicked it off. This one is a powerful one. I really love this one. If it weren't for the team dynamic of some of the other movies, this one, as, as a standalone hero, it is my favorite of the standalone uh, MCU uh, movies. It just, that moment when he, I am an Iron Man. Uh, when he shoots the, the missile and then turns away and walks. There's so many just cool, iconic moments. It's what made us all care about the MCU. And really, if it didn't start with that, the MCU might not have happened if it didn't start out so strong. Number four, Captain America Civil War. Uh, really, what, uh, what an amazing, uh, just... Wow, that's the uh, getting Spider-Man in the MCU. Oh, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, just the constant references, seeing all these heroes, the, the Viter line, and how that pushed um, Zemo. Amazing. We got Black Panther. That was very amazing, and the way they interwove all this and made it emotional and care about these struggles of these people in spandex really impressed me. Number three, Age of Ultron. A lot of people don't seem to like this movie, but I love it. Um, I like the introduction of uh, Wanda and uh, Pietro. I thought uh, um, that uh, James Spader did an amazing job with Ultron. And I think that's a lot of people's things. They don't like how Ultron was portrayed, but I love how Ultron was portrayed. The kind of psychopathic robot, you know, he's got a humor to him, but it's, you know, he's he's almost crazy like a, a Batman villain, but he's also like Brainiac in that he's, you know, just crazy, all these bodies, all this these things. And I think the combination of those two made a truly unique and enjoyable character. I love that. And then, of course, when Juan and Pietro switched sides, wasn't a, I, I thought that was amazing. Um, 
I, I love the speech that Hawkeye gives, you know, you know, I'm out here, the city's flying, I got a bow and arrow, none of this makes sense, but I'm going to go back out there because it's my job. If you, if you stay in here, fine, I'll tell your brother, he'll come get you, but if you step out there, you're an Avenger. What an amazing speech. Made, I love Hawkeye, and, and such a good movie for him. Um, another one, uh, you know, uh, you know, with uh, uh, Captain America, when he says, you know, if you die, walk it off. Just, you know, so good. I'll follow that up with um, uh, the Avengers, the original Avengers. I love all, just that from beginning to end, Loki was amazing. Um just different lines you know captain america you know there's only one god ma'am and i don't think he flies around in a cape just so many good lines so many good things and then that scene of everybody in the circle getting around to to, to go on a fight oh that gets me every time um and then of course uh, i i love uh when the officer uh you know comes up and it's like, why do I take orders from you? And, uh, you know, he, he defeats the, uh, Captain America defeats the alien and he turns around and he's, and he's reiterating all of Captain America's orders. You know, it just introduced these people to the world in a really good way. Well, number one, probably already guessed it because it hasn't been on this list yet. And how could it not make this list? Infinity War. Infinity War is bold. It is amazing that they got that many characters into a movie and made it make any amount of sense. And that nearly all of them had great emotional moments. Even the characters I didn't like, I think they really shined in Infinity War. And this is something that, while yes, it requires all the buildup to have the full emotional impact, I, I can't think of a, a better superhero movie. This is just amazing. Now, for my secret number 11, I'm going to go with Spider-Man uh, Homecoming. This one is one that I am a huge Spider-Man fan. He is my biggest Marvel uh, superhero that I like. However... Every iteration that he's done in live action always have something about it that I particularly don't care for. And uh, I didn't like that uh, they didn't have the Uncle Ben, that they kind of tried to supplant that with uh, Iron Man. That was kind of weird. Um, I didn't like uh, Mary Jane not being a redhead. That was kind of weird to me. Um, I don't mind uh, that character that's in the movie. But she's not she's not my MJ. The like the red hair is kind of a classic uh, uh, trademark of that character. So, uh, but the the performance of Vulture, like Vulture, like Spider Man has an amazing rogues gallery, and so many of them haven't been done. He should have so many more movies. There's so many characters that need to be done, and uh, seeing Vulture done well really really drew me in uh, to the movie so uh, little grapes because I'm a perfectionist when it comes to Spider-Man is why it doesn't make the list but it still did a lot of things right that I really like so anyways that's my top uh, uh, 10 MCU list uh, what's yours let me know down in the comment section below have a good day